Hi, this is Porter Thorndike with some exciting new enhancements to the natural language query engine in Web Focus release 9.1. So last release, we introduced natural language query. It allows you to type questions in English language type phrases and get answers to your questions. In release 9.1, we're introducing the use of filters. So what we're going to take a look at here is applying a date range. And this is going to support a variety of different formats. You know, you can see it's going to support that type of format that I just typed in right there. That's going to apply a date range filter to your query. Or you might just want like a specific time period, like a month or a year. So you could also type that in and it's going to apply that filter. It's going to work in a variety of different formats. Like if I'm typing a date, I, I probably type dates like this, you know, March 1, 2013 to March 14, 2014. So it's just going to support a broad variety of the different ways users might type dates in. Support ranges, support specific time periods like months or years. We're going to take a look at some loan data now. And the filter support goes beyond just dates. You can apply a filter to any dimension. Okay, so if we're looking at total payments by application type, you can notice there's individual and joint application types. So you can apply filters either by preceding that dimension or any dimension with the value you want to apply, or you could it could be added on after with a for operator as well, and really apply it to any type of dimension, whether that dimension is present in the query or not. The other thing that we've been refining is our fuzzy matching logic. So right here, we are going to mistype loans, or there is no dimension that is spelled like loans. Um, but there is loan amount, and so we applied that logic to return that query.